Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering XLM, but before I do, I'd appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So, what is XLM? XLM, or otherwise known as Stellar, is an open source network for currencies and payments. Stellar Lumens actually means two things. So Stellar means a blockchain network and Lumens means the blockchain native token. And XLM is the market abbreviation. Stellar allows its users to send dollars, euros, pesos, yens, and other currencies to anyone with a Stellar address anywhere in the world with practically zero fees and just a few seconds. Even though there are platforms nowadays that offer such transactions, in the traditional way, Stellar does this blockchain style, decentralized and uncensored. Stellar's goal is to bridge the gap between crypto and fiat currencies by using it the best of both worlds. They do this by tokenization. So when a user, for example, wants to send dollars to someone, they actually send dollar tokens. So these tokens are live on the Stellar blockchain and have the same price by the dollar and is backed one to one by actual dollars in a bank account dedicated to this purpose. So it's similar to stable coins such as Tether and USDC, but in some unique points being that Stellar can be used to tokenize any currency, i.e. dollar token, euro tokens, etc. And the tokenization process is integrated right into the network protocol and anything can be tokenized also, such as gold, silver, shares, etc. So guys, I'm jumping straight into CoinMarketCap. As you guys can see, it is currently 15th. Uh, the, the current price is over 43 cents, so it is up 40% over the last 24 hours. As you guys know, last week was pretty hectic in terms of everything was pretty much bleeding uh, in terms of market so as you guys can see it is doing pretty well it is up 40 percent in terms of market cap it is up uh, uh, 10 billion dollars in terms of circling volume it is 2 billion so it's actually up 80 percent in terms of the circling volume so it's pretty good in terms of uh, the chart I will be going in depth so as you guys can see how it was ranging underneath that 20 cent mark and it did go all the way past that 80 cent close to that one dollar and then it did dip uh, as you guys know during that 2018 there was that market dump and then it did dip and then back in towards that range under that 20 cent mark in terms of where you guys can buy it you could buy it in the best probably platform being finance but go ahead and you could check out these other platforms that are available on. so i've jumped straight onto the website as you guys can see it's a pretty neat looking website in terms of it does have a lot of information on there so as you guys can see seller is an open source network for storing and moving money as i did explain previously so let's go down as you guys can see borderless limitless and powerful go ahead and check this out i just want to really talk about these sort of things here so as you guys can see seller makes money better so as i did mention before user can exchange any token they hold for any other token on the stellar network so peer to peer so as you guys can see here as i did mention you can purchase gold silver shares etc so stellar has a decentralized exchange or dex built right into the network so guys go and check their website as well it does tell you in terms of everything that is available in terms of what is being built onto the stellar network so in terms of upcoming news there is some stuff happening next week actually so as you guys can see on their twitter it's time to get ready for the stellar network upgrade to protocol 17 so i've just jumped straight onto the website as well so as you guys can see on tuesday 1st 2021 stellar validators will vote through whether to upgrade the network to protocol 17 if the vote goes through the upgrade is immediate so everyone building on the stellar um, should prepare by installing up-to-date versions of any all stellar related software they use so for more information click on this so i just jumped onto this as well so as you can see go ahead and read this article as well i will leave the link below so it's time to get ready for the stellar network upgrade to protocol 17 this version of the protocol includes a new asset clawback feature that we document in detail here so go check that out as well and we're excited to talk more about it in subsequent posts but for now we want to share key dates and action items to give time to prepare so as you guys can see the key dates being june 1st public network upgrade vote so guys if the vote goes through there will be an upgrade in terms of the software so guys go check these two articles out as well that give you more in depth of what is so actually I've jumped straight into the monthly time frame just to give you an analysis of what I think might be happening with Stellar so as you guys can see back in 2018 it did have a massive bull run to around a dollar five cent since then it did dump all the way back down to two cents so if you did pick up here you have massive gains so far and since then it was a bull run all the way up to around 80 cents 
but since then there has been a dump back down here to around that 43 cent mark so as you guys can see it did fail to break above this resistance level actually around here so around that 55 cent mark it did fail to break but if i do see the next month breaking above i do see it going back up to its all-time high tapping that in or um, you know going past that so as you guys can see we have to wait for this month to play out you still have seven days left so yeah as you guys can see you can see clearly it did fail to break this resistance level here it is now trapped but it didn't fail to break the support level here as well so i don't really see a downside going back but if it does actually break below the support level it might actually go back down to that 20 cent mark back to that 10 cent mark even back down to this low here but as you guys can see just wait how to see this month plays out and let's see how it goes but apart from that guys hope you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in tomorrow's video